Welcome. So what I'd like to do is talk about how we can classify a polygon based on its number of sides. Now remember a polygon is a closed figure, like the one itself, and it's composed of sides, which are going to be straight lines. So it has to be a um, closed figure. That means there's no open spaces. The sides are going to be made up of line segments. And where those lines come together are what we call our vertices. Um, so it has sides and vertices. Okay, so, or at least one of them would be a vertex. Um, so what I want to do is just kind of go over how we classify them. Now this one might be familiar with you, that's a triangle. And yes, any polygon that has three sides is we call a triangle. So I'm going to say here is the name and here is the number of sides. Now a quadrilateral, you should be very familiar with a couple quadrilaterals, uh, parallelogram, square, rectangle, trapezoid. Um, but those are all what we call quadrilaterals. And those have four sides. All right, so as long as it has four sides and it's a polygon, we call it a quadrilateral. Um, our famous government building is a pentagon. And that is a regular pentagon, which we've talked about. Um, but it doesn't have to be regular for it to be a pentagon. It just has to have five sides. Um, the next one is a... Um, hexagon that has six sides, a heptagon that one has seven sides, an octagon, famous stop sign, right? That has eight sides. So those are kind of like your most famous um, ones that we're going to be, you know, probably using the most often. Um, however, we do like to at least go up until uh, 12 sides as far as with our names. So the next one would be a nonagon. And that is when a poly, um, polygon has nine sides. We have a decagon. That is going to be a polynomial with uh, um, 10 sides. We have a hen decagon. That is going to be one with 11 sides. And we also have a dodecagon. And that is going to be one with 12 sides. So if you're seeing a problem and you're seeing these names, it's very important. Um, I would definitely say to make sure you know all of these, right? And those, you know, we see those most often. Um, however, it is going to be important because there will be some problems that you'll, you know, probably be using these names. Um, and you're going to want to make sure. Now, a couple of the other ones, uh, you know, as far as their naming rights, to kind of keep it simple, if it has any other sides um, larger than 12, to kind of make this um, basic, a lot of times it will say, you know, N. Or say, let's say the number of sides is n. It can be anything, 15, 25, 99. And to simplify this, to not have to remember so many sides, we'll just call that an n-gon, where n represents the number of sides, and it's a gon. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we classify polygons based on their number of sides. Thanks.